hell out of there. I'm like, I didn't hear you come in. Anticipation. Anticipation. Hold that thought. Absolute nonsense. Anticipation. Anticipation. The grubby need schoolboy eagerly awaiting the three o'clock bell. The the wine soaked lovers, tummy full of oysters, expecting what might happen next. The the, the terminally ill old man. Anticipation. It's everywhere. Luckily for us, our anticipation ends here. You look awfully grimy, Simon. What have you been doing? Not walking very much. Oh dear, you really should. Jude, I should let you know I've invited Richard Gleason today. How disgusting, uninvited. <laughs> it's too late. That would be incredibly rude, and besides, I want to see him. Do you mean to tell me that you invited a sleazy tea party fundamentalist Republican to our Sunday soiree? He is not a Republican, darling. He is an American independent. And besides, I've done it before. I almost caused an international scandal. We know. Oh, no. Well, really, it's no matter to me because I invited Sandy Turrell. See? Who? <laughs> Sandy Turrell. The Russian curler. I've been talking about him for days. You He's a perfect darling and he loves my show. You're married. You always do this. It's disgusting. Are you attempting to criticize me? Yes. Well, what about your... Politician! Surely that's a little different, darling. If you mean to imply that because you're a uh, vigorous ingenue of 24 or 35, uh, or whatever you are, that you have the complete monopoly of any amorous adventure there may be about, I feel it is my firm duty to disillusion you. Seriously, who talks like that? People are weird. Oh. <sighs> Sandy's frightfully athletic. Why has Myra Arundel replied attending to our Sunday soiree? I invited her. She's awfully amusing. Oh, how perfectly beastly. What will Richard say? Something inherently misogynistic, I expect. Do you mean to tell me, Simon, that you really of course I did. I have the perfect right to. Why don't you like her? No, dear! I detest her. She goes around using sex as a sort of shrimping net. You know perfectly well I dislike her. And that's why you didn't tell me she was coming until it was too late to stop her! It's intolerable of you. Well, whether she is here or not is of no matter to me. But I think Richard won't like her very much. Sure, great, he'll like her too much. Honestly, why can't you fall in love with nice culture girls instead of self-absorbed succubus? She is not a succubus, and I never said I was in love with her. Oh, ho, ho. he adores her. She butters him up and admires his sketches. You both upset me thoroughly. All I wanted was a nice, restful evening with moments of Sandy's ingenuous affection to warm my heart when I felt in the mood. But now, our sanctuary is going to be overrun with simpletons. Perfect agony. I wish I were dead. Don't worry. Myra and I will stay out of your way. I'll just take Richard to a, a dark corner somewhere. I wonder if David's been thinking about coming or if he's just going to sit downstairs all night fussing with his blog. What do you care? You'll have Sandy hanging on your every word all night. If you are rude to Sandy, I shall be extremely angry. Oh, damn. Heard can lead to multiple standoffs and posturing observed. Would you all please shut up? I think I'm going mad. Where's Casper? Do oh, stop wearing your costume at me, David. Here's your single origin latte. Everybody, calm down. I'm going to start setting up for your soiree. Please try not to break anything this time. 
That is the last time I use rad pad to find roommates. Simon, I need you to do me a favor. There's a girl coming. She's very nice. I want you to meet with her, play, you know, make nice. Uh, but she is an abject fool. Uh, she's a yoga instructor, and I need to study her a bit. I should like someone to play something quite underground and classic on vinyl play. Damn everything! Damn, damn, damn! Voting does not help! It helps me quite a bit. Why does David go on like this? He's better go prune it. It's perfectly ghastly. Whenever I try to do anything, one of you has to ruin it! Oh, I wish I could afford to live on my own and not be cluttered up and frustrated by my roommates. It grieves me to hear you say that, so. <sighs> Shut up, Judy! Jude! <sighs> this is going to be the blackest Sunday we've ever experienced. <sighs> what are we going to do? We're going to have to be very, very nice. To everyone. <laughs> None of that! I don't know what you mean, Simon. You're being beautiful and sad. Uh, but I am beautiful and sad. <laughs> you are not particularly beautiful, darling, and you never were. My fans think I am. What fans? And as for being sad. When I say I am sad, I am sad. You don't understand because you're precocious and tiresome. Ugh. What did you say? I said, oh! Well, don't say it again because it annoys me. Oh, you're such a lovely hypocrite. Honestly, I don't know what I've done to be cursed with such terrible friends. I'm going to forget about all these dreadful people arriving. Stand downstairs. I'm going. Oh, terrible. Yes, dear. Well, there we go, eh? Uh, the, uh, the art of the arrival. The, uh... The social greet, a minefield, I'm sure you'll agree. Do you go for the, uh, the firm handshake? Do you go for, for a, a hello five? Or the, the, fist, the fist bomb, which is a new one on me. Either way, we'll find out more about this next time around. Sleep tight.